Hey guys, welcome back to our second episode of our map view series. Uh, last episode we added the map view in here as you can see and we kind of um, implemented the map styles within the map application. Uh, this episode we're going to be touching up on the getting the user's location such as your own and um, loading a fixed um, location upon the map. So to get started with that we need to go into our view controller dot h so we can add the action for our location button. So we do dash bracket IB action and I'll simply name this get location and after the sender there we end up with a semicolon. Now if you just want to copy that just to save a little bit of time to copy them um, from typing it out again. So just after our current um, bit of code here that we um, did previously we just paste that in and make sure you got a bracket on the end of it. And then all we need to do then is do map view dot shows uh, users location and we equal that to yes and that with a semicolon so that means when the uh, we press the button and uh, we're going to our storyboard now so when we press it it's going to display the location of our current position but as we do it on the simulator it automatically shows that we're in California so if I add a button to our navigation bar at the top here and I change the title um, we have a problem here I know that if the uh, button there we go, we need to change it from plain style to bordered, there we go. And if we just simply give it a name here of um, location, oh, not there, sorry. Oh, I'm doing it in the wrong place here, we don't want the button on the navigation bar, we want it down the bottom here. So again then, location, and I'm going to add in if I can just find it now, a little flexible bar button here. So it stops it from touching the end there when we load up on the application. So now if I go to select view controller, or we can select it at the top here, go to connections inspector, and then go to get location, and we drag it to our new button, and do something simple like touch up inside. And that's simply all we needed there to get your own or the user's location. Uh, so if we just build and run now, and just test it out to show you, See as it loads here, we can we know it's going to load up in um, California over here. So as soon as we press locate, it's going to ask if you want to use our current location. We press OK, and then there you go. So default location for the uh, iOS simulator is that it shows up in uh, California. If you tested it on your own device and was connected to the internet via your you know cellular um, network or by Wi-Fi, it will show the location of your current position. So test it on your device and you can mess around the location and see where you are in the world. Uh, now we're going to get it to load up on a fixed position. And how we do that is we need to implement it in the view did load. So as soon as the view loads, it's going to load up a current position. So we do MK coordinates. Uh, MK coordinates region, there we go. Uh, space, and let's simply name it region. There we go. And we do space equals space. We do a curly bracket and space, another curly bracket. We do 0, .0. Uh, do, 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 do. comma, space 0, .0. and that of a uh, curly, well, finish that curly bracket up there. Uh, we do another comma, sorry. Uh, and again, we just kind of repeat the process here. So we do curly bracket. Uh, 0, 0, 0.0, comma, 0, 0, close it up with another curly bracket and complete all the curly brackets and close them up there and that is a semicolon. I'll come to back um, come back on this what it's all doing in a moment. So we do region dot center uh, dot latitude space equals space. Now here we put in the kind of coordinates for our latitude that we want to be displayed on the map. Now, as I've already got some preset um, coordinates already to display on Brooklyn Bridge, I'm just going to put those in there. So, do, do the, the, um, the latitude for Brooklyn Bridge is 40.707184. And then we end that with a semicolon. And then we kind of repeat the process now, but we do it for the latitude, um, longitude, sorry. And we do space equals, and the longitude for Brooklyn Bridge is minus. Uh, 73 dot 
998392. And now we do region again. Now we need to do the span of the longitude. So we do dot span dot uh, longitude delta space equals space. This is kind of uh, how much it zoomed into the screen. So as I've already preset some, well, you know, I've got it already preset up to display like a nice distance. So we just implement that 0 0.01 uh, f. If you play around with these values and you kind of uh, you know increase it or decrease it and you know kind of see what works best for you, we're going to simply copy that and just paste it again and just change it to latitude delta. Uh, it's going to be the same kind of value there. I'm going to do da um, bracket um, map view. Set region, and then we do region space animated. Uh, yes, and that with a semicolon there. So then now, if we go to build and run in the simulator, as soon as it loads up, it's preloaded straight away on Brooklyn Bridge. Now you can get your own coordinates um, on, say, like Google Maps or anything like that, and you change the span. Of the longitude and latitude delta I will decrease, um, you know, increase or decrease how much it zoomed into your location you want it to load up. So if I just zoom out now quickly, so as we got it pre it preloads and preset onto our Brooklyn Bridge, we've also got our own location, and we can now change it to satellite and hybrid. So yeah, we've implemented the uh, location kind of side of our map view application. So I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. Uh, next episode, we're going to be um, kind of working on then how to uh, add the coordinates. So we're going to be adding one, um, like a pin on top of Brooklyn Bridge with our nice little name in the tag there. So we're doing that next episode. So uh, yeah, if you haven't, uh, make sure you like and favorite the video. Uh, leave us a comment if you want to suggest anything uh, we want to do in the future. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook and like us on Twitter. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you check out all the apps on the App Store, which is just simply searching Geek Dilemma. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got it in my pinky. I got it in my... No, it's not my pinky. I got it in my finger.